Kilda. So my name is Bennett Pormana. A little bit about myself and where I'm from. Ke te taho o tōku pāpa e uri no te aitanga maha ki me ngā tiparau. Ke te taho o tōku mama e uri no uh, ngai tāmini hiri. So my name is Bennett. My bros call me Bees. Ora, I'm Peppa. Uh, I am from the far north, Ngāpohi. Uh, Kaio to be specific. Um, I am Bennett's wife and we have 10 children and we reside here in Lower Hutt in Wellington. The impact that sepsis has had on, on us as a family is huge. Like, I've lost two jobs, still experience chronic pain. It's been a year and a half. All I remember is just being really, really sick. I thought it was COVID initially, but then I developed a, a bit of pain in my groin. We then went um, to, uh, made an appointment with the doctor because he just wasn't feeling very well. There weren't any appointments available with the doctor in person, so we did a phone consultation. So they told us that he would be taken for emergency surgery and in the next 45 minutes he was in surgery. He was surrounded by doctors and uh, theatre nurses because his organ failure had taken place during the surgery and that none of those organs were functioning and so he's now being put on support for each of those organs and that he will be taken to Wellington Hospital because he also needs dialysis, which they don't do at Little Hutt. And so I took him to Wellington and I got to see him for the first time. So the next time she got to see me, I was in ICU, um, all plugged up to all types of different machines. I was in an induced coma for the next 10 days. I don't think I really understood, to be honest, long until after we left Wellington, what sepsis was and that some of the stuff that he was going through and going to continue to go through were because of sepsis. Even later on in the piece, I didn't discover that what I'd gone into was septic shock. Didn't even know until like a month later eh, when you were telling me about it. And when doctors are around you and speaking their, they're speaking their language, They've got to be able to break it down for us who don't understand that. Peppa here went off, she heard key words or you know key sentences, then she went and researched it so that she could understand what they were saying and talking about. To find out who are going through this, ask questions. Don't be shy. When doctors are coming around and doing their rounds in the mornings, have your list of questions all compiled there and ready to go. Don't let them leave until you're satisfied that you have gotten everything out and ask all the relevant questions that you need to ask. I don't know how anybody goes through something like we've been through without people. Like I just don't see it happening because we've struggled and we have people. We're lucky enough that we ha have been supported financially in big ways by people that love us and care for us. Our rent was paid for six months that's how much help we needed. And that wasn't by a government department, that was our friends and family. The impact of this, it just continues. It feels like when I woke up, it was like a brand new me. And I have tinnitus in there or tinnitus or whatever. So all I hear is just huge whooshing and a ringing at times, and it's 24 seven. The pain aspect is another, chronic fatigue, just moving is, is, is an ongoing thing that we deal with and challenge that we deal with every day. Whilst we're in there, we definitely need that whānau support. So when we were told that Pepper couldn't stay initially, <laughs> we, we were like, what? So what she did was she went out and bought a stretcher and set up in the room, posted up in the room, sleeping bag, and she said, I'm not going anywhere. 
An important improvement that can be made is one where sepsis can be recognised faster. From GP to ED through to the hospital, it has to be recognised quicker. I think improvements that, that they can make with regards to what we've been through and what would benefit other whānau that, are, that do indeed go through this is communication first and foremost. Also the staff being educated on what sepsis is and passing that on to the whānau so that we all know we're all on the same page and know what we're dealing with. Communicate with the whānau about what's going on, what they suspect it could be, well, just, just any type of communication because Peppa here was left out. She was sitting in the car in the car park for like six hours, eh? So any type of comms and involving the whanau more would be greatly appreciated.